Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. Uh, we're working on some front turn signals, uh, blinkers, some people call them. And uh, this vehicle, they work when you're using them as blinkers, but when you have lights on, they don't work. And uh, also when you like lock your vehicle, it won't work as well. And I don't know if you can see this one's working over here, but this one is not over here. Blinker on the right, blinker on the left, both work. Flashers both work. Uh, then when you turn the headlights on, that one does not work. Here are the tools and the supplies that I used. The biggest one was a flathead tool. Um, you may need one of these that get the plastic fasteners out. Um, and I want to talk real briefly about this. Get one of the lifelong 3457A. Do not get these. Uh, I was tempted to, even though they said off-road use only. You have to have a load resistor. And I'll show you why, because I actually installed these and made a video and then realized how crappy it was. So here's another reason not to install those LED bulbs. It does not have a load resistor built into it. And so you get the hyper flash which is kind of an indication that your uh, blinker is out because it does not have the correct load of voltage coming back to it um, and showing that it looks like it's a bad bulb. So I would encourage not to get the LED unless you wanna buy a $15 or more load resistor. And so you do not want these. Get these ones, they will last a long time. Uh, it's been like 10 or 15 years in this vehicle with this. So go for these ones, not these ones. So you might be tempted to go ahead and pop the hood and search around in the hood for this uh, light bulb, but actually it's a lot easier than that. Uh, you only have to come into the wheel well on both sides. So I went ahead and turned my wheel as far as it would go. Doesn't matter which direction you turn it, just turn it all the way. Uh, we'll give you access inside of the wheel well to be able to access this light bulb. So you have one fastener right here. And I don't know if these are the original fasteners, but these ones you kind of just push with a screwdriver and then pull out. And this one is broken. There was an accident on this vehicle hitting a deer. And so I don't think all of this is original because I don't think that's a normal one. Um, but you just start pulling this thing down. And I'm trying to give you a great camera angle uh, in here. It is very difficult to see. But if you look up right here is where you will see it. And you can kind of feel the the wiring harness come down but that right there is where you are reaching and you'll go ahead and take that twist it to the left a quarter turn go ahead and pull it down you'll go ahead and take the old bulb out which is just pulling it straight out go ahead and get your new one and i would replace both of these at the same time go ahead and grab your new one insert it directly in And then go ahead, find where it goes, and then it is a quarter turn. It is kind of a, you feel around to make it fit kind of thing. And then you go ahead, put your plastic back into place. And then I like to pull this as far out as you can get it, sometimes all the way out, just so this thing goes in, gets into the spot. Sometimes it does take a little finagling and Go ahead and push it in. That locks it in place. This one is completely broken. Or I could put a new one in here, but the whole plastic part is ripped out. So uh, we're not gonna be able to do that. You may also need to take this one off. That's kind of optional. I didn't need to, because I could just kind of fold the plastic stuff back. Uh, but we'll go ahead and test that real quick. And so that is working again, just how it should. I will put the blinker on as well. I'll go ahead and turn off those lights and put the blinker on. Okay, now we are on the front passenger side, the right side. And so we'll go ahead and find that same fastener on this side. That one almost broke off. And uh, this one as well is, uh, there's nothing on this one. So you would have one right here. You might be able to see that, uh, but it's totally broken off as well. So my goal is to go ahead and fold that back so hopefully you can see up into here. You'll go ahead and take it, turn it to the left, 
pull it out. Go ahead and get that bulb out. Go ahead and put your new one in. Go ahead and put it into the slot. Firmly press in. And then we'll go ahead, find the hole. Sometimes it is difficult. There it is. And then go ahead and turn it one quarter turn to the right. And then go ahead and put the plastic back into place. And yeah, the bumper's cracked here too. But it's kind of an older vehicle, so it does what it needs to do. And go ahead and put that in and press it in. And you are set there. We'll go ahead and test the lights. So this is just with the opener. You can see both sides are working properly. Uh, then we'll go ahead and turn on the lights and uh, check it that way too. So that is the daytime running. That is the full lights. Uh, then we'll test the blinker. That'll be the driver side blinker, the passenger side blinker, uh, then caution lights both at the same time. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Please comment if you've not done so already so you can uh, help others find this video and uh, figure out how to do this themselves instead of paying somebody else to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.